Welcome to a short video about the new units that we get in Global in the coming month. So, um, I want to go over what units we will get in August, which one are good and a must pull, which will be probably skippable or could see a use in Global, and also try to explain everything about the festival units and the whole festival thing in general, to have a short summarize for you in case you don't know anything about it. Um, I will give you some insights on the units, how they were used in JP or for how long they have been used in JP. So you can maybe estimate how they will perform global, but keep one thing in mind. The meta and the released units are way different between global and Japanese. So if a unit was bad in Japanese, it doesn't mean it's also guaranteed bad in global, just that there is a possibility it won't see much use. So, the first unit in the first banner will be Iris. Um, I'll show you the full art for once. And then we uh, go over here to um, the Discord. Uh, in case you didn't know it, um, there's an official and an unofficial Discord, so join them if you haven't. And in the unofficial Discord, we have a cool bot to showcase units and to see what stats the unit is, what attributes it has, what passive traits and what skill it has. So I want to use this case to show off the units because I think it's a rather simple and cool way to show what the unit can do without you need to trust me on my translation of the Japanese skills. I could already also show you the skills here and, um, you know, just for this description, so you can guarantee that's the same, but, um, yeah. So, for Iris, we have a Wind Iris with two rather good skills, actually. The first one is a good damage skill and a tier 3 boost to a physical attack. And the second skill is uh, another damage skill with conditional HP scaling, um, which will do even more damage and also a moderate boost to your agility. So a uh, tier 2 speed boost, I think it was. Um, it's only self buffed, so it's a rather selfish Iris, but she's actually a really strong unit, uh, wind unit, so she could potentially see use in either slot back 1 or maybe even frontline together with Iris, uh, Iris with Ice, but I think Probably even in global, she will only be like a bad unit. But if you're an Iris simp, like some of my viewers are, feel free to still pull. I won't you, I won't keep you away from it. But um, probably just a bad unit. Um, the second unit is Ari. Let me show it to you. Doo -doo -doo. There she is. Also full picture, so you can see it. Um, so, we have a rather interesting Aru here, because um, Aru is normally a character with rather long cooldowns on skills, and this one is no exception. But her first skill is a damage skill that also gives you a moderate reduction of your skill cooldown. So we get another cooldown reduction unit, and a mage unit in that regard. So... Um, it's, it's rather hard to predict how good she will perform global. Uh, I still think Wind will be dominated by physical units, especially with the release of fast units, where I talk about later. So I think she will have a hard time to like really show up. But if you like really beta invested into mages and you want to run Rin with this Ari, there's a, pos a possibility to use her for sure. Uh, the second skill is also a single target skill with uh, another HP condition and a moderate boost to the super guard. So I think it's... No, it's a minor boost, sorry. So I think it's a 10% guard boost. So um, it's a decent unit, but I don't think that she's like that good. Maybe a rear 2, as Stevie said. Yeah, that could be a possibility. But um, there, there will be other wind units, so... Sadly, probably a skip. And with that, my personal opinion is you should probably just skip part one. Unless you're a simp for one of those units, then you can pull, of course, but 
these units are maybe just back units, so um, there will be better banners, especially the next one, as Celeste already is teasing. And that's why we take a look on the next banner. And the next banner contains a really, really strong unit, and I can't emphasize this enough. And it's Summer Erika. Not because only she has a cute aqua in the background, but also because her skills are really, really good. So if we look at it, her first skill is a conditional skill that just deals a ton of damage. Like 205% is a really good number. It's really good damage. Uh, also a 30 second cooldown, 13 seconds. So she can spam it a lot and deal a lot of damage with it. So she will probably be a core for your water units. And the second skill is like the big one why you want to get her. It's an AOE skill. So damage is not that good, but it's still decent and a moderate boost to agility for all allies for 12 seconds with a 20 second cooldown. So it's a tier two speed boost for your whole team. And the really good thing about this unit is the fact that your ultis are also pretty versatile. Like the ulti one is a buff for all your physical units, tech boost. So um, she will synergize really, really well with two other upcoming units. Uh, one actually in August, we talk about later. Another one probably rather soon. Um, but it's it's a really strong unit. Get her. She's the must pull on a summer banner. Do it. Trust me. Pull her. Um, also, because speed boost is so good to have... Um, she could potentially also see a lot of use and off elements because tier 2 speed is just so powerful that you mostly want it in every arena. So uh, prepare that she potentially see use off element. At least I uh, that's my guess that she actually see um, off element use. Uh, now to the second unit. Da -da -da. Should be right here as well. It's Summer Sea Yellow. By the way, before you ask, no, I don't have every unit possible in the Japanese version. I just recently have close to every unit. I will also miss one unit of the current banners uh, or the, the banner right here. So um, just a heads up, I don't have every unit, but the ones I have, I want to show off here. So um, next one is Seattle. And Cielo sadly is a really bad unit. She has a boost to magic attack and a small heal and a HP depending damage skill with re reduction to their magic defense. It's it's sadly like a really sad unit because um, as I just talked about we, have, we, we will get a really strong water unit. We will get other really strong water units. There is sadly no place for water mages whatsoever after these units drop. Water mage meter will sadly die out. And with that, she doesn't really have a place to fit in. Like, we will get other water units that are rather good in the future. But one of them will be a whiz. And you can't heal a whiz. So... Uh, she will be even less effective with her heals. It's it's really sad. So um, if you try to pull for Erika and get her Ripperoni, I guess. But uh, if you get Erika, you're done with the banner. Don't try to get her. It's not worth it. Now, the unit I don't have, actually. Uh, Chris. I don't have Earth Chris. I'm sorry. I can show off her beautiful art. But um, she's a really good Earth unit. For sure. Uh, the first skill is uh, physical damage to one enemy and a minor reduction to skill cooldown. So it's also a cooldown reduction time uh, skill. Uh, just minor, so I think it was only 4 seconds, not like 6 as the moderate ones. Um, and the second one is also a single target damage skill and a moderate boost to your agility. So she can self speed up, she can cooldown reduction. Uh, with that, she can keep the agility boost on herself for the whole duration. So she has no downtime in it, I think. So um, it, it's really strong to have her. Uh, 
especially now in global. Uh, in Japanese, he was kind of skip for me because we have other strong earth units like spoiler, we will eventually get uh, uh, Vanir as a unit, which is a really strong earth mage. So, um, and Onsen Melissa, for example, as a physical rash red unit. Um, so, you, you could use her, she was meta for a while, but it was not like a must pull back then. Right now we have less strong earth units in global, so I think she will be meta for rather uh, quite some time. So, if you have the quads, get her, she's really good. But, um... Don't force yourself, because the battle after is, is where the real shit begins. The, the battle after is like what you want to pull for, 100% guarantee. So, uh, you probably heard of it already, but there will be a so-called fest or festival or anniversary battle. How do you want to call it? But like do the one big banner to celebrate one year of Konofan. And we will get a banner with 1.5 the rates and some really, really strong units. This will also be like a recurrent thing. So every three months from now on, roughly, we will get fast banners. So we will get first fast banner as one year anniversary. Then 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, 2, 2.25, and stuff like that. So it will reoccur every three months. This also means, in case you miss a fast unit, the fast unit will guarantee return three months later on the next fast banner. So if you can't get it in the first banner, it's really bad and sad. But you will have chances in the future to get those units. Just keep in mind, when out of fast units drop, the rates for the previous ones will be lower unless you do a full rerun banner for the earlier banners with the same rates. But it's like less possible to get the right unit then. So I really suggest you to pull what you have on the first energy banner. And um, before we come to the fast units, I want to talk about the anniversary units will also be in the same banner so it's one big banner with four units and the first unit will be singer kazuma the one unit a lot of people hype up besides another one uh it's this one and it's because of his skills uh wait let me first show you the the cool art of singer kazuma um now let's take a look at his skills the really really strong thing about him is he has two good skills really really strong skills the first skill is physical damage with more damage if the enemy has a debuff and with debuff it means every kind of debuff so a lot of units will apply debuff so you probably guaranteed to get the bonus damage especially if you take a look at his skill too it will deal also really good damage and apply a moderate boost to elemental weakness so, you probably heard about Rash Red, this is it, Elemental Weakness is Rash Red. What it means, if the unit is weak to an element and it has the Rash Red debuff, every skill of the right element, so the element the enemy is weak to, will deal more damage. And we only currently had one Rash Red unit, which was uh, School Erika, which was also just minor Elemental Weakness Rash Red. So, uh, this will be our first big Rash Shredder. And Rash Red will break the game. <laughs> like, not really break the game, but it will boost the damage by a ton. And the good thing about Kazuma also is that he has his OT2, which is a reliably slow down. So, um, he can buff your team with a slowdown. He can deal good damage and he can apply Rash Red so your other units can do a ton of damage. And he will be meta for a while, trust me. You want to run Rash Red in every arena from now on then. And he is currently the only one with the right element, so um, with the right skill. So he will probably see use on like most arenas. Also because he is Kazuma, he's rather squishy. So it can also be uh, a strategy, for example, to bring him in as a slot 1 or a slot 4. Pray that your slot 1 unit 
eventually dies or it's just a Megumi that explodes. So he can come in, apply Rash Shred, maybe get his ult off at the right time to just then faint. So your other unit can come in and just do more damage because Rash Shred is applied. That was an actual strategy we used in JP. So stuff like this will come. It's really, really cool to do it. It's really fun. I really liked it. And so he is one of the two 100% must pull units. Don't miss the chance to get it. Um, the second anniversary unit is, as it's just baby saw, Megumin. And it's another light Megumin. Sadly, sadly, a light Megumin. Um, why sadly? We have for zero Megumin. And <laughs> she's just the worst for zero Megumin. Uh, first damage skill is conditional damage skill with 50 second cooldown. It's rather good, but like no buffs, just damage. And the second one is uh, a self magic attack buff with a significant boost. So her personal damage will be good, but you don't use Megumin for personal damage, especially in off elemental arenas. Um, for light arena, she can be usable, she could be good, but um, for off element, you just are better off using Rizhiro Migu for the team buffs with the speed buff and the attack up buff. So um, she's probably the worst unit on this banner, but it's not bad to have her in any means. Like, I think there was one arena in JP where we actually used this Migu specifically, but um, she only really, really shines if there's like waves with only one enemy because she has two single target skills no aoe skills so she can nuke one enemy rather good to get rid of explosion but she can clear waves and that's the big strength and why Rizhiro Megumin is so good so um if you get her that's nice but if you miss her as your only unit don't be like Celestia and pity for her don't do it it's not worth it better go for the other units <laughs> Sorry, Celeste, for calling you out. <laughs> okay, now we come to the big ones. Now it's time for the fast units. And these are the big ones. The first fast unit we will get is Aqua. So, you probably know her by the name Fast Aqua, Legendary Aqua, God Aqua even. Simply because she is so, so broken. Uh... Before I show the bot, I just want to show you this. Um, the one thing you see from the get-go is that she has an elemental basic as a physical unit. So she will be the first physical unit with an elemental skill. And you also see some really, really strong icons there already. Uh, so let's look at the beautiful splash out for a second. And then we can look into the bot, what she actually does. And the thing is, we need to read everything here. First, her passive. 5% attack up for physical attacks and a 15% super gotch fill rate. So even the passive alone is really, really good. She will be the strongest sub for physical units simply because of the gotcha. Then we have her basic, which is, as I said, water physical damage and a minor recovery for all allies. So she heals with her basic attacks, which is ridiculous. She makes content like Dungeon really, really easy because you can just bring her in, spam her basic attacks to keep your heal alive. It's, it's so amazing. So if you struggle with Dungeon, she's your unit. Trust me. First skill. This is, by the way, only the first skill and she's already broken. It's a damage skill with okay numbers and a moderate reduction of skill cooldown time for all allies. So, um, one thing, in case you didn't know it, skill cooldown also lowers the cooldown of the skill that uses it. So, she has a cooldown reduction skill on a 12 second time that reduces cooldowns of all skills from all units by six percent uh six seconds so she just makes other units for example like bikini erica to be able to keep a speed up up close to the full duration of the arena run like there will be one second delay or something like that between the skill runs out and the new one can be applied but she makes units broken simply because she allows other units to spam their stuff 
This is also the unit that will make Ice really, really strong because she can, can she can keep a speed up up herself longer. She can push more. Uh, she can use the other skill with the God Shot more often. She makes other units like the Darkness we come after you really strong because of cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction is such a powerful tool, and she has it as one of her skills. And the second skill is more damage. With a condition, so it's even more damage if she's above 70% HP, which is rather easy to do with her ulti 2 and her basic healing. And is a minor boost to the super gauge of a unit. So she buffs super gauge, she heals, she allows other units to do more damage. And even if you don't use her actively, she's a really strong subunit. Even for mages to use her because the 50% super gaugeful. She's so strong. Combine this with ulti 2, which is even more heal, a tier 2, uh, a tier 3 physical defense down, she's like the best support you can have for your physical unit. So, trust me, she's the, the one unit with Kazuma you want to have. These are probably two strongest units, so if you don't have more than 75k quads, maybe try your luck on the Erika and then just try to save up as much as you can for this one. Trust me, it, it's the best thing you can do. You should probably also get Erika, don't get me wrong, but like these are the two strongest you can also get. Um, now about the second fast unit. It's no other than Darkness. Also, by the way, a, a really cool splash art. Um, let's take a look at the skills. Um, first. This darkness won't hit all the time, sadly, but she has an, uh, let's say a way around to actually get her work pretty well. At uh, first, she also has a really strong passive, 6%, 6 attack boost and recovers 100 HP with each action taken. So she will be a good sub if you take a lot of HP and especially a good sub for Ice because Ice can that way get more attack and keep her HP up so her conditional attacks will deal more damage. So even if you just want to run Ice, she's like the best sub for her and vice versa. For fast darkness you want to use Ice if you have her. Uh, as another physical fast unit, she also has an elemental basic, in this case light. So she has a light physical damage skill with low accuracy, as I just said she won't hit normally. And she boosts your physical defense. Just keep in mind, this is a self-boost. A moderate self-boost to physical defense. Now let's look at the two skills. Uh, both are really strong. The first one is a moderate boost to your physical defense for all allies. So she keeps your units protected. And a significant boost to your super gauge. So with this skill alone, she will get like 50% super gauge with one action. Which means she will be able to ult really fast. So if you run her with ulti 2, you can spam the ulti, you can keep the buff from the ulti alive the whole run or close to the whole run, and with that always deal damage and make her basic hit. That's the whole strategy with her. And the other reason why she's really good is the second skill. It's a light physical damage to one enemy with a conditional skill effect, which is also really good because more damage, and a moderate boost to agility. Just as I said with Erika before, tier 2 speed boost is really, really strong. This was also like one of the reasons why Fast Darkness was used so often, simply because she can speed up other units. She has a neutral damage ulti, so it would always deal good damage. And yeah, speed boost is really, 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 really strong. I, I can't empathize this enough. Speed boost and cooldown reduction are probably the two strongest things we have in the game, besides Thresh Red, of course. Um... So, yeah, another strong unit, um, especially with Chamoske. We currently have Chamoske already in global. Uh, you can do really nasty things with her. Like, you can potentially get her to ult at wave 2. Uh, if you combine, especially with Aqua, you can load the downtime on her skills so that she can loop the ulti pretty good automatically. And even if not, you can use the ulti, you can use Chamoske to keep the buff on longer. And with that, you should normally be able to ult another time. So, um, 
there, there are struts out there uh, um, which make a really, really good and our probably first really, really strong darkness we have. So all darkness lovers and shy, you will finally get your useful darkness. Woo! Don't spoil them. Also, uh, because one of the viewer asked, um, just show it here. Uh, Free Star Mitsurugi will also be a pullable unit. Um, should you pull for him? No. <laughs> no. Uh, but he has one really cool thing or one gimmick and it's uh, his first skill prevents debuffs. And um, in case there's a uh, arena with a really strong debuff, he might be the unit you want to use uh, unless you have Skullia, then you can probably also use her. And there will other debuff blockers in the future like a few Mias and stuff like that. So uh, maybe he has like one or two use cases, but at the same time, I, I wouldn't suggest this for him but uh he, he could have his knees cases so yeah um these are all the units we get in august um i don't know if i said it already but um best banner will have a 1.5 rates so higher chances to get good units so use your chance and pull on this banner it's absolutely worth it um even though it has consistent reruns Trust me, you want to pull as fast as possible, because he will be so strong. And... Maybe, maybe, if you can afford to whale, there will also be some pretty good whale units, uh, banners, I think, as well. Like, uh, these ones will have uh, the 2k banners, but you can pull 5 times. So, 5 skill pots and 50 pulls for 10k quads, which is probably still really good. But, of course, it's a whale banner, so if you don't want a whale, that's totally fine. Save your free moves as much as you can. Pull them, and yeah. <laughs> as my chat already said, uh, if it helped you out, or if you liked it, leave a comment, like, subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And all I can say is, I wish you very lucky pulls. I hope you get them rather soon, and you don't need to waste too much cards. I will also stream my polls when the banners arrive, so the Erika banner and the Fest banner, so if you want to check it out, do it. Uh, and yeah, just uh, good luck. <laughs>